Hi, this is Chris Denham with Western Hunter. Uh, this is an interesting month for us. 10 years ago in July, we came up with the idea of building our own sleeping bag. Uh, so we're at basically our 10th anniversary. In fact, today I've got this sleeping bag with me here. This was, uh, this was the original prototype we made of the Western Hunter sleeping bag. We actually made it out of game bags. This, uh, this material is just a cotton, uh, cotton canvas that we made game bags out of years ago before the lightweight materials became available. Uh, we liked it so much, we just decided it's time to, to go into production. So we started building the Western Hunter sleeping bag. Obviously, this is not a backpacking sleep bag. This is a, a sleeping bag you'd use in a base camp with a cot. We actually have a lot of people, even with travel trailers, where you have a thermostat being able to uh, have a sleeping bag like this that's comfortable in multiple temperatures. Uh, it's great for, for basically any condition you have in, a, in your back of your truck uh, for emergency purposes. It just, uh, it covers all the bases. Now the bag, to start with, it comes with a stuff sack that is made uh, of the same material. And the material we use, it's a cotton canvas with a, uh, what we call a DWR finish, a durable water repellent uh, finish. It's not waterproof. With a cotton bag like this, you want it to be able to breathe. You're not really worried about waterproofness because you should be in a tent. But if you do find yourself uh, out uh, in with a drippy tent, or even sleeping outside and it's drizzling rain, this sleeping bag will keep you dry. I actually tested the first ones with sprinklers in my backyard, just laid down in the sprinklers for 20 minutes uh, with no water penetration. So it does have, even for those emergencies too, this cover strap here, you can throw this over your head. It also serves to protect the bag as the bag is rolled up. Um, it does come with a pillow. Now, if you're a, this is a pretty hard pillow, um, it gets compressed down. If you're a connoisseur of pillows, you want to bring your own. But, uh, but I, I love it. It's just a, it's a nice small pillow that's always there. That's a nice thing. It's, it rolls up in the bag so that the pillow is always there. The heart and soul of any sleeping bag is the insulation. Um, it's critical to have good quality insulation. Now, I'm a, obviously, I'm a big fan of down when, you have, uh, when you're using a backpacking sleeping bag where weight is your primary concern. But down's very expensive. Um, and if this down, if this bag was made of down, it would be oh, way over a thousand dollars, probably a fifteen hundred dollar sleeping bag. So what we use is a product. It's a synthetic product called Climate Shield. It's very lightweight for the amount of loft that it offers, um, and loft being that puffiness that helps trap at warm air and keeps cold air out. The other thing that's really cool about Climate Shield is it's a continuous fiber type of uh, synthetic product. So as opposed to being just spun and then cut in small pieces where it can ball up and bunch up, it's one extremely long fiber. With uh, typical products, you'd have to quilt this, which would create compression lines, which there are places where cold air can penetrate much more easily. Uh, by using Climate Shield, we're able to maintain a big lofty blanket uh, for bigger guys, six foot four guys can sleep in this bag. Um, it's nice and wide, so you don't end up with with your arms pushed out against the zippers and against the side where cold can be drafted in. Uh, it does have draft tubes uh, that keep that cold air out. But again, with the bag this wide, you can, you can sleep in the middle and stay nice and warm. The cool thing about the Western Hunter sleeping bag and the reason we wanted to design it uh, the way we did is it has multiple blanket layers. So if you're sleeping down, say, in the, in the 50 degrees, 45 degrees uh, and up, you can just climb into this top layer. Uh, if it starts to drop below around that 30 degree mark is where I start to use the second layer. Um, and when it gets down to close to zero, that's where I dive into the third layer. And if you do get down into the third layer, you think it's going to be that cold, I highly recommend that you bring an, uh, an air mattress or have uh, some foam insulation underneath you, especially if you're in a, sleeping in a cot in a wall tent because you, you're more likely to get cold from the bottom uh, than you are actually from the top. So having an insulated air mattress or a foam pad underneath the sleeping bag just gives you that much more insulation from the bottom.